So a very useful tool is this idea of the line of action. And what that allows us is to basically translate a force in its direction where it's being applied. So what I'm saying is that let's say we have, we know a force that lies, let's change that color, uh, a, force, a force that lies along this line. We don't know where it is necessarily in space, but we know it lies on that line. And we could say that a force goes this way. And what we can do, we can translate this force and put it over here. And it acts the same way in terms of w when we solve problems. So we, as long as it lies on this line, we can move this force anywhere in this general direction. And that could be, uh, and obviously in various problems, they have arbitrary directions where forces lie. This becomes very useful when we deal with uh, tension problems, um, stuff like that because as you can assume that a rope has this idea of tension and that whole that tension force can be applied anywhere along the rope so as a very useful tool especially used in, in what we're going to be doing in the next video this the idea of particles being in a, in an equilibrium so that is what the line of action allows us to do